Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal Impossible I'm here. Today we're checking out a game called Outpost. And uh, I've actually played this one a little bit just to give myself an idea so I could tell you guys what's going on and maybe not be a complete noob for once. So let's hop into things. And uh, I'll just pause it here just for a second. So basically, it is a uh, basically a, a tower defense type of game. You got to protect this little blue squ uh, square right here that's your temple or shrine or whatever. And uh, you have to go around collecting stuff. Like here, we're going to collect trees. That, uh, so that we can break it down and uh, build, uh, you know, towers and stuff. And this is a very, you know, simplistic game at its core, but uh, it's, it has, like, some kind of roguelite properties to it. So you're meant to die. You're going to die at some point. There's, you know, there's no getting around it. Uh, but every time you do, you get experience based on how far you've gotten and what you've, you know, managed to get done. Let's put down the uh, little turret here for ourselves. Let me put it, like, right there. Can we put down another turret? Do we have the power? Actually, can I put down a bed? I'd rather put down a bed. If, if we die because I put down a bed, so be it. And, uh, we don't have any more things, right? We're out of stuff? Yeah, we're out of stuff. Alright, I'm gonna end the day right here. So, during the day, you can build and gather stuff. I'll get rid of the build menu there. And, uh, at night, you know, creatures come and they try to destroy your little shrine thingy. And, uh, you have to, you have, to have these things here, uh, kill them for you. And, uh, basically, that's, that's kind of like the cycle. I mean, right now, I only have these little basic, uh, whatchamacallit, turrets, but uh, you can unlock new uber awesome ones. You can also make things that make uh, you more powerful within uh, this particular map iteration. So I can, you know, like, build myself a bow, or I can, uh, you know, build myself a pickaxe so I can get rocks and stuff. Right now I'm going to focus mostly on just getting trees, though, because trees are my main source of wood, which I need to uh, build almost everything, to be honest. Uh, before I built myself a bed, having a bed makes it so you get more energy. And I can also build a tent. I kind of want to do. Let's put down one. Can I build down a tent as well? I can. Okay. And that'll... There we go. So next day, I will have even more energy. And I think I'm out of... Yeah, I can't build anything else. Let's put this thing out here. I'm probably... You know, there's a good chance I'll die. I'm trying I'm trying to make it so that I... Uh, I'm basically econing. That's, uh, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm trying to invest my resources into uh, getting myself more more resources uh, tomorrow. If I could speak English. And, uh, oh, we survived. I just got an upgrade that made these things hit a little bit harder. And uh, I have another upgrade that makes my uh, my turret, I mean my shrine or whatever, actually uh, shoot things too. So that really helps. Alright, so now we could do more stuff. We have five energy instead of... Uh, you know, four, which is what we had yesterday. And before that, we only had three. So having more energy does more good things for you. Can we get more tools? Can I get a better axe? I get No, I, I need more wood. Okay, let's get more wood. Or can I not upgrade my axe? I may not have an upgraded axe. Yeah, I never got the upgrade for it. Okay, we'll just, we'll just get more wood. That's fine. We'll just live with that. We'll get another turret thingy out soon, hopefully. But we're going we're gonna to waste all our uh, energy getting wood first. That seems more important to me at the more uh, at the moment. More wood, more better. But upgrading my axe, for example, will give me a chance to get more wood per uh, you know tree chopped down. So that could be pretty important. Uh, let's get a uh, another twig cannon down. I'm not close enough to build it. That's why I was upset there. And uh, let's get a torch down. What a torch does is it makes it so that your your things have better range, which is you know pretty cool. Can I build another thing? I cannot. I guess I don't have enough wood. Let's close that and see what happens here. Oh yeah, we see our wood and stone and stuff up there. There we go. Come on, kill that. That thing right there is uh, blocking all my shots. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I wish I could have better range than that. Unfortunately not. Alright, let's go get some more trees. There's also uh, things on the map you could find. Like uh, on the winter maps, I want to say that you can collect pieces to build a snowman. That'll, like, defend your base. Like, every different uh, season, there's, like, different stuff. Like, I, I think I want to say in the fall, there's, like, fire flowers or some kind of thing that you can shoot through that makes your stuff more po uh, potent. There's uh, you know, all sorts of different weird things you can discover. And uh, there's also treasure chests around that take energy to open, but they tend to have really good stuff inside. I have not run into one yet. I should maybe go on a little exploration thing to see if I can find one. Because they are worth opening if you can find them. Let's go up here. Let's get a flag down. Flags increase your attack speed. Of all the, not your personal attack speed as, as far as my knowledge goes, but all the uh, attack speed of everything around it. 
Do we have enough? No, we don't have enough. All right. Uh, that should defend itself. Hopefully. Let's explore a little bit. Yeah, I think, I think they'll handle that. We'll see if any chests have spawned. And uh, hopefully we'll have energy to get one if we see it. Hopefully our base doesn't die. I'd be kind of upset if I'm just like running around and our base dies. But, uh, you know, it happens. It definitely happens. All right, let's see what we can get here. Get some more wood. I wonder, you know, maybe I'll make myself a bow. Having a bow would be nice. Let's get on the tool. I hit the bow here. Maybe our shoes. Yeah, there we go. We got shoes now, so we walk a little faster. I probably should have done that a little bit uh, earlier. Stuff happens. That's all there is to it. Let's just uh, top out on wood here then, I guess. I'm not seeing anything in the immediate area anyway. I'd like to run around and find ourselves the uh, chest to open up, but I don't want to get too far from my base, especially when I want to build us some stuff. Let's see, where exactly is our base? I think it's to the right here somewhere. I get lost so easily in games, it's ridiculous. Uh-oh. Am I officially lost? I might be lost. Where's my stuff? Stuff! I think I'm right down here. There we go. Okay. I, I was worried. I'm not going to lie. I, was I thought for sure that I was, like, officially lost, lost. Let's go to build. We gotta build some more stuff before the big guy comes on here and destroys everything. Alright, let's get you. Let me build you. I, I guess I can't build it. Alright. Let's put that away then. Where's the big guy at? The Raccoon King. We'll see him shortly, hopefully. He has a lot of hit points. Mr. Raccoon King, where are you, sir? Where is he at? Oh, he's in the worst place possible. In the one place he's going to get as far as possible before my things even start hitting him. Was I even shooting arrows? I felt like I wasn't. Maybe that's my imagination. Let's uh, get some more wood here. Oh, I went too far. There we go. There's something very zen about this game. It's just relax, run around, collect stuff, let your turrets kill everything for you, and then, you know, at the end you get to spend your EXP to, you know, power yourself up. It's, a uh, I, I guess it kind of has, like, a relaxing, like, idle game feel, I guess. But you're not actually technically idle. You're running around and grabbing stuff. But, it, you know, it's, it's like, low stress. At least it, does, it feels that way for me. You know, it's just relaxing in the atmosphere here. It's snowing. You're hanging out in the wilderness by yourself. You're, uh, I guess you're, you're fighting evil little, uh, forest animals. I don't know uh, what, what they did to deserve all the killing we're giving them. But they must have done something, okay? I'm just saying. They're, they're not as innocent as they would have you believe. Alright, we, uh, we have all we can put out there. Do I have any of these unlocked? I do not have any of this stuff unlocked. I'd like to have one of those soon. I have not unlocked it yet. It's, that's the uh, stone thrower, I think. Killing things okay, except for when they come over here, then that giant rock formation is in the way. I'm not a fan of that. Alright, we killed everything, I think. Let's keep walking on down this way. See if we can find ourselves something good. There are, you know, treasure chests and stuff. I just, I'm not finding them this playthrough. For whatever reason. But I have found them in the past, I promise you. Alright, let's get this thing here. There we go. Did we get any stone yet? Like, I don't actually need it for, like, anything. I feel like maybe I should show you guys that it's officially a thing. I don't know. This this stuff here is a stone, and I'm uh, moving my mouse over there. And uh, you need it for, like, like upgraded things. I'm just not there right now. My character hasn't unlocked very many things yet, so I'm still very early on in my playthrough experience. Let's get all our stuff here. See if we can build any more stuff. We should just be up here a little bit. So, there we go. I, if I didn't just happen to catch the side of that, I probably would have kept on walking for like an hour. That's just how I roll. Let's put one like right here. Am I close enough? There we go. Alright. Bring it on, evil thingies. Oh, let's go to T. Can I shoot stuff? There we go. I'm shooting. I'm doing things too. Yeah. And uh, what we're fighting is just all sorts of different things. I think they have like raccoons. They send chickens at you. Why random chickens come try to attack you in the forest, I really don't understand, but they do. And I'm also wearing a piece of equipment that gives me uh, plus two wood, like, for free every day, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's just one of the 
I think it's uh, just, you know, when you not only when you uh, die do you get experience you can unlock stuff with, but you also... Oh, what is that thing? There's like a shrine or something over here. What is this? What are you, thing? I don't know what that is. We'll find out. I, I, I have no idea. I get 40% attack speed now? Okay. That's nice. I'll take it. Do I feel it? I'm clicking. Nothing's happening. Fight T. Do I click? I don't know. It's not working right now, anyway. Anyway, let's get down a uh, let's get down a thing right there. Build around that. Oh, not close enough. There we go. We have enough for another one. Here we go. All right. Am I shooting? Yeah, there we go. We're shooting again. Let's get rid of that so we can see things. We're like killing things before it even gets on the screen. I don't even know where they are. There's a thing over there. Shoot in that direction. Oh, there's stuff over here. We'll get these things. My turrets actually hit harder than I do right now. I don't know. Can I build a stone bow? Do I have that upgrade? Can I? I might, actually. I need to pick to get the other stuff, though. Yeah, okay. I, I, I can build it, but I just don't have it. All right, let's, can I build a pick, then? There we go. We'll see if we can get the stone bow. Upgrade our... Uh, Upgrade our attack so we're not quite as useless. Hopefully. Mining stone takes forever. Holy cow. We're going to run out of daylight before we get all the stone we need for this. We might literally run out of daylight before we get all the stone we need for this. It might actually happen. Alright. Let's just keep going. The, uh, the upgraded pickaxe, I believe, will make you mine faster and have a better chance of getting stuff. Uh, can we get this yet? Do I not have it? I don't have enough wood. Okay, let's, let's get this. We'll get the wood. We still have another energy left, too. All right, now can we build this? There we go. We have a level two uh, thing now. Let's just get another stone over here because reasons. Right here. Come on, let me get it. There we go. I don't know why it was not wanting me to get that. But I wanted it, darn it, and we got it. All right, can I shoot stuff now? Yeah, I should do more bow bit damage now. Uh, let's shoot in this direction because there's stuff over there. Right, oh, there's a thing over here. Let's shoot at that. Like, everything's dying too quick. I don't know. Maybe we're going to survive a long time. I don't know. If, if another boss comes from that direction, it's kind of rough. Because we don't get to fire at them until they're, like, right on top of us. Which is, uh, no bueno. Right, let's pick up some more wood. See if we can get some more defenses up. Because, uh, these are not going to hold out as long as I would like. I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of surprised they're holding out as long as they have already. We're, do we're actually doing pretty good. This is one of my better runs, but, you know, that kind of makes sense. Every time you get a run, you, you do a run, rather, you get a little bit stronger. So hopefully, you know, every run is a little bit better than your best. Um, you know, better than your last, at least. <laughs> you know, not 100% true that that would happen, but I, I think for the most part, this is how it's going to go. You know, you get an upgrade, it makes you, uh, you know, get more wood so you can build more defenses, or makes your things a little bit better. Okay, I ran myself out of energy, I didn't even realize it. All right, what can we build over here? Something good, hopefully. Let's see what we got. Probably just build more twiggy, twiggy defenses. There we go. Build that one there. We'll uh, build one right here. I'll put a... I don't have enough to make a... Whatchamacallit, a flag, but I will soon, all right? It's gonna happen. And I got the biologist achievement. I don't know what that means. There's a queen bee coming from somewhere. It's scary, because that is a lot of health, and I don't have a lot of stuff to take care of it. Oh, it's coming from the worst way possible. Right, we're shooting at this guy, but I, I think it's going to go bad. If they get to our, our, our uh, shrine, we're in trouble. Ooh, we put out a lot of dips. I'm actually surprised. I mean, if it got here, even within, like, distance at all, it had totally taken it out. So, uh, we survived. Despite having the uh, limited uh, range there. Really surprised by that. We're, I'm, I'm glad I'm having my best run ever for my video. That way, I, you know, I make you guys think I know what I'm doing. But, you know, if you're a fan of this channel, you know that's uh, that's never the case. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I make it up as I go. And I uh, make a fool, a fool out of myself. This is what I do. All right, hopefully we get more uh, Twiggy cannons out. Blow things up more efficiently. Uh, then we'll go on a little exploration, because I think we're holding things here pretty good. Let's put down a flag here. I uh, went a little bit too far. There we go. 
Get a little bit more Twiggy cannons out. Can we do another one? Three? Yeah, we had just enough. Just enough. There we go. So, I, I don't know if I discussed this. These torches give all the things in the radius, one square radius around it, better range. And these flags give everything in one square radius around it 40% uh, attack speed, I think. 20% attack speed, I'm sorry. I misspoke. I mean, I'm going to go on a little excursion. Let's see if I can find anything. I think my, my uh, base up there will hold most things off, hopefully. Oh, there's a thingy here. What's the thingy? Can I, can I click it? Hopefully when we get done killing things, I can click on that and see what that is. Do we win? Okay. Let me get this tree first because I can't help myself. It's there. <laughs> Alright, let's click. Can we click on it? I got that. I think that's, that's a part of a snowman we need to make a snowman defender. Which I've never actually done either. I've, uh... I got a little pop-up at one point, I think, saying that, you know, it could, uh... Make a snowman defender for us, but I've never actually seen one. It'd be cool if we could find the other pieces of it. I think there's like four pieces. See, that's his little snowman hands over here. There we go. Is there more of it? I'd like to find a chest around here, too, if I could find one. Otherwise, I'll waste my energy just getting wood. It's, not, it's never really a waste getting wood. Uh, at least this early on in the game. I, like, I could always use wood for something. All right, let's go uh, build stuff we got. We're almost out of daylight. And after I build a couple of things, I'll probably go on another little excursion. There we go. Let's get our build menu up. Build one of these things. There we go. And uh, maybe I'll start building out a little bit. Start building this way. Yeah, why not? Or actually, maybe down here. Yeah, we'll build down here. There we go. And I don't have wood for anything more. I'd like to be able to have stuff that shoots up there. So it gets a good angle at that stuff. It kind of bothers me that bosses come from there. Things are getting pretty close on this side, though. Maybe I should build over here a little bit. Because, uh, you know, if they touch that at all, I'm done for. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I think I'll build over on the right here just a little bit. Give myself a little bit of a, a cushion. Because we're, we're totally left-heavy with our attack, which is fine because they have decent range, so it's not like things are getting through anyway, but it's like things are getting fairly close. Now that we're getting further along and I don't have the uh, overwhelming power that I had a little bit earlier on. Uh, relative to the amount of stuff is coming. Right, there we go. Let's go build over here. I'll build it to the right of my shrine here. So I'll build a little thing there. And there. Can I build there? You're not gonna, oh, it's not quite close enough. And can we build the other these? We can build an attack flag. Alright, we'll put an attack flag right there. There we go. That way those two will get bonuses and I can build around it like it did over here. Alright. Let me let me actually play defense for once. I'm going to shoot at stuff. I'm, I'm sure stuff is going to come from over there. Let's shoot in that general direction. Okay, I was a little bit off. But I, my bow actually hits for two now as opposed to one. And that's because I upgraded it. And I think that shrine thing we got upgraded uh, my attack speed. But it's hard to tell. I mean, it does seem faster, but we also upgraded my bow, so I'm not sure. All right, let's upgrade our... Uh, well, harvest more wood, rather, not upgrade anything. Let's head up to... Uh, have we gone to straight right? Let's just go this way. We'll grab some uh, trees on the way. I want more snowman pieces, and I still want to find a chest. I mean, they definitely have them in the game. I've gotten them before, but I am just not finding any. They, uh, they spawn randomly, so it's like, you know, you're not, like, guaranteed to find one. There are actually upgrades you can get, like talents you can unlock that make it your characters luckier. And it just spawns more chests, or you get more from chests and that kind of stuff. So uh, there, are, there are a myriad of things you can invest in. I'm just not seeing anything over here. Do a little quick look. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll go uh, top right after this one. We'll go build with what we got, and then we'll go... Uh, Northeast, I guess, from our base to see if there's anything in that direction. We're gonna get to our base soon. I feel like we should have like built everything already. Let's just get to our building here. We got more building to do. Let's go uh, right here. There we go. Right there. Can I not build another one? No, I don't enough. Kill that thing. Whatever that is. Anything else? Oh, there's a big thing there. Yeah, whatever that was. It was like a 
It's like a goose? <laughs> what kind of noise was that? I don't even know. Alright, are we done? There's still something left. There's like one creature, I guess. Where are you at? It's up here, whatever it is. Is that like a beaver or something? What is that? It makes the weirdest noises. Alright, let's, let's get a couple of things nearby. I wanna, I'm going to leave it to uh, defend itself tonight, I think, while I go look around at stuff. So I'll just build one or two things and go run off. Right, let's put some stuff out here. Did I put a torch down? I did. Alright, there we go. So I'll build there. Build one more. I'll build right here. Alright, let's go to the uh, top right, like I said I was going to do. See if we find anything. I'll, uh, I'll gather stuff on the way. As long as we're not fighting a boss, I think my base will hold things fairly well. Uh, you know, I hope. You never know. I'm a little, I'm a little worried now. The more I think about it, you know, a boss could come and there's nothing I can do about it. Stuff happens. I, I only do two damage per shot anyway. It's not like my bow would do that much. And uh, you don't have like a melee attack that you can hit him with like a, you know, axe or something. They don't seem to allow that kind of stuff. Oh, we got that thing. Oh, we got a big boss coming. You know what? Oh, I'm shooting. I wanted to gather, but I'm not allowed to gather at night, apparently. It's just not going to happen. Can I turn it off and just let me... Can I do it like... Yeah, apparently they just don't want don't want me to gather at night, so that energy is just going to get wasted. Dorothy has a lot of hit points. I think we're screwed. I think we're over to the left here, actually. Somewhere. Dorothy, where are you? Die, Dorothy! No! Yeah, she just barely got to our base, as you guys can see. The night was dark and full of terrors. It was. We got 75 experience? The, like, the biggest experience gain I got before that was like 15 or something. Uh, we must have done, like, really good. So, see, we got a genuine dandelion. 20% uh, more loot from chests. So, that's one of the items you can get. That seems like a kind of common item. To be honest with you, I'd rather get the plus 2 from wood every day, like we're already getting. Which is our items right here. You can also change what your character looks like. So, uh, you know, you can give a guy a, a blue suit, red suit, orange suit. I think you unlock more colors as you play, too. So it will be a sky blue suit. Why not? You can also be different skin colors. Uh, whoops, I didn't actually mean to do that. Let's go to progress. Uh, items. I think we'll stick to the items that we have. I don't have a helm or a right hand thing yet. But, you know, these are my left hand things. I get one stone from rocks. I wonder if, if I could just keep that on me. I don't know. Uh, this one gives me, you know, more loot from uh, chests. This one also gives me more loot from chests. But the one I'm wearing gives me two wood per day. Just flat out free, which I'm a big fan of. And this one gives me plus one turret damage. It essentially doubles the damage of all my turrets, which is, like, pretty huge. All right, so here is our experience tree that we can unlock stuff. See, this will make us start with more stuff. Give our shrine a shield so that the first thing he hits it dies. So basically, it does, you don't insta-die. That might be worthwhile, honestly. Let's see, this will make my cannon, uh, my shrine gun a little bit better. Can I get the rock launcher? I want a rock launcher. Let's do it. Can we do an uber rock launcher? Yeah, we can... Oh, wait, that takes 250,000 experience. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Uh, we're, we're nowhere near that. We can uh, maybe get a cogwheel. So instead of flag, we can make the cogwheel and make things attack 40% faster. That might be worthwhile. It's 20 experience. What else can I use it on? We can get the stone axe. That might be worthwhile too. That way we can uh, you know, get more wood from trees. Stone pickaxe. Yeah, I'll just get it. Why not? Uh, stone greaves move a little bit faster. I'm not that worried about that. Increase the spawn rate of chest by 50%. I'll do it. Let's just do it. Why not? Uh, plus one energy per day for the summer. So you have one for different uh, each different uh, season. One wood from uh, plus one wood from trees during the fall. Enemies move slower in the winter. Let me see. Uh, luck during spring. Trees grow faster. I don't really particularly care about that. The days last longer. Increases the amount of stone on the map. I don't really care about that either. Yeah, I don't care about any of those things. Where's the things that make me have more damage? Let's get the magic veil. I think that's important. Uh, having the shield take two hits might be good. Or you can make our crystal damage a little bit stronger. Actually, no, we can't afford that. What can we afford? Cogwheel? I want a cogwheel. That sounds cool. We can also get the campfire. Do we not have enough? Well, we're, we're down by 10. All right, is there anything we could buy for 10... 
experience. We can get Greaves. That might be all we can really get. Worthwhile, anyway. We can get Greaves. Yeah, let's just get it. Why not? We, we can get better boots. That's something we can try. But I, I think we're going to end this one for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Hopefully you get an idea of how this plays out. This game is legitimately free on the Steam Store. You guys can get it for yourself. I have a link down in the description. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of play value here. You can keep replaying it and progressing and doing better and unlocking new stuff. I, I think there's a lot of value here, especially for free. So you guys want to give it a shot? I uh, suggest you go on ahead. If you guys are new to this channel, this is what I do. I play indie games every day here on the internet for your enjoyment. So if that's something you might be into, why don't you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that bell icon so you know where to put out new content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.